Hi guys, the first thing we're going to do today is we're going to uh, we're going to stop the ink coming into our print head. We're going to shut the power off and we're going to disconnect the power source from uh, the wall. But today, using one of our best code continuous inkjet printers, I'm going to show you how to replace a gutter detect. So with our print head in a vise, we're going to go ahead and remove the four screws holding the upper sleeve or cover to our print head so we can expose the uh, the part that we're going to be replacing, the uh, gutter detect. What I like to do is I like to keep all the screws separate because as we're taking these components out you'll notice they're all different size screws and if you keep them uh, separated then you'll know where they go back. So with the four screws out here, we will uh, remove this upper cover from our print head. Just slide it forward and off, and then we'll be able to uh, see the rest of the print head exposed. I go ahead and I put the print head back into a vise. Next, I will be removing the two screws from the print head manifold or the white block here. And these screws are a little bit longer than the other ones, so again, I keep them all separated. But with this block uh, loose now, we can lift it up out of the way, and uh, we can go ahead and pull our gutter detect out and expose it because we're going to be removing it. It just lifts up just enough to, to expose it and get it out of the way, like so. Next thing we're going to be doing is removing the uh, two screws from the bottom of our gutter. And now our gutter is loose. And we can go ahead and uh, remove the, uh, the tube from the gutter. Like so. Just pull it off, we'll put that to the side. And now I'm gonna show you, uh, we're gonna be removing the heat shrink tubing from the coax so we can separate the coax. So very carefully with the razor blade, we're going to go ahead and start cutting back the heat shrink to expose the, uh, the coax connectors here. Again, guys, with the razor blade, just be very careful not to cut yourself. And we'll just keep cutting back this heat shrink like so until we have our coax uh, exposed and we can go ahead and disconnect them. I think I'll put my knife down now and just uh, use my fingernails to uh, to finish the job and, and expose these coax for you. Once you have it exposed, you can go ahead and just separate the uh, connections like so. I'll take my razor knife back and I'll cut the rest because we're going to be uh, putting new heat shrink on when we put our new detect gutter detect it back in. So I go ahead and I cut it and I just pull it all off like so. Put that to the side because we're going to be cutting away more heat shrink here to uh, expose the other part that we're going to be disconnecting. So again, carefully, we're just going to rip this apart. We're going to pull the tube off of the gutter like so, or the gutter detect. 
Now that we have it out, we're just going to get our new one. And we're going to uh, replace the, uh, repeat the process so we can uh, install it. So here you have the new uh, gutter detect. You have the, uh, the heat shrink. So let's go ahead and uh, reverse the process. So with our new uh, gutter detect, we're gonna take a screwdriver and we're gonna ream it open just a little bit, like so, so that we can put it on the, uh, the stand. You don't need to open this up a lot, just enough that we can uh, push and wiggle our way to put the gutter back into this, uh, this tube. And again, guys, we're going to uh, wiggle it back and forth till we got it bottomed out firmly against the gutter here. It takes a little bit, but we can do it. And now that we have it bottomed out like so, we are uh, now ready to go ahead and put our heat shrink up top and put it down onto the gutter and we'll go ahead and we'll put the uh, the upper part onto our uh, our metal sleeve of our gutter detect, like so. We'll pull the heat shrink up to cover that where we had just made our connection, using a lighter, using a, a, a heat shrink gun or a torch like I'm using here. We're just gonna go ahead and heat up the shrink tube and we are going to uh, shrink the tube onto our our print head uh, gutter detect to hold it all in place you leave it about an inch of the tube exposed onto the gutter so you can see the ink and our makeup going uh, up into our gutter now that you have that guys we will go ahead and uh, we'll screw that back onto the mounting plate with our two screws but because we had this all off we are uh, going to have to realign our jet when we're done, but you can use one of our uh, realignment videos that we have on our webpage at Best Code. You'll have no problems realigning it. Now that we have those two in, we'll go ahead and we'll start placing it back under our print head manifold. What we wanna do is tuck it underneath this yellow wire here or the yellow tube. Earlier we removed the screws so that we could uh, we could remove that, but now we're going to set it back in like that. Taking our longer screws, we're going to go ahead and uh, reinstall the screws into our print head manifold or white block. Once we have our screws in and that's firmly tight, Like so, we'll go ahead and we'll grab the last piece of uh, heat shrink and slide it over our, uh, our connector. And then we will uh, push our connector together until we hear it click. So I didn't hear it click there, so I did it again and now it's clicked in place. Now that it's in place, we'll go ahead and take our last piece of uh, heat shrink I'm using a torch, but again, you can use a lighter or a heat shrink gun. We're going to go ahead and we're going to uh, shrink that tube around our coax connector so it will not uh, come apart. When that's all done, we'll just bend that wire down. We're going to go ahead and put our upper cover back on to our, uh, our print head. And again, I just tucked the wires. But as you're sliding it up, you might have to uh, help them out to be fully enclosed into our upper print head sleeve. You'll have no problem. You just push it in and uh, just push it up. Now that that's in there, we're going to go ahead and put our four uh, screws in. And that's about it, guys. Uh, again, the next video you'll have to watch is how to align the head because by removing all that, you probably uh, took the alignment out. But uh, that's how we're going to uh, 
replace the gutter detect here in one of our best code continuous sync jet printers. Thank you guys.